This is how to use a deep hip flexor. So commonly a hip flexor gets really dysfunctional, it's either really tight, but sometimes a combination of really tight and really weak. And so I'm gonna ask some of you guys to do this. And so I'll just show you, you're gonna find, this height is gonna be variable depending on what you're doing. So if you need to find something lower or higher depending on the condition of your hip and your back, uh, that's gonna be, we'll guide you in that in the office. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna find a uh, position where that, you're gonna try to start from a, like a parallel thigh or a flat thigh position. And then from here, you're just going to lift your knee into your hand. And this is a very controlled, smooth motion. It's not, I'm not pitching my back. I'm not using this down leg. I got a nice tight tummy, tight low back, and then it's up and up. And it's slow up and slow down. So you can even do slow up, hold, gently out and down. Slow up, hold, gently in and down. Just to work on that deep hip flexor control and strength. Just to show you what it looks like from the other side. And so you can add some side motion like this. So up, over, down up over down okay and so just play with that it's a really good uh stabilization for the hip and sometimes when that psoas is just in really tight spasm all the time actually starting to use it functionally can decrease that tension in your low back okay look forward to serving you at your next office visit